Hi, CJ. Welcome back to a vlog. It's my birthday week. It's the first of March today. It's a Monday. I love starting a month on a Monday. It's such a great feeling. I'm taking a long weekend for my birthday, so I thought it might be fun to vlog. Book things. Book things to update you about. I am reading Stranger Care by Sarah Santillis right now. It's a digital arc I got on NetGalley. It's a memoir about motherhood, foster parenting, and parenting on a global sense in general. I'm really liking it so far. It's zipping along. It's in like these little tiny chapters. Uh, before that, I just finished reading No One Is Talking About This by Patricia Lockwood. Really loved it. I'll talk more about that in my wrap up and on a book. On, and in a video I want to make about books about the internet. Probably pick out a new piece of fiction to read today as well, along with my memoir. Uh, we did paint the bedroom. So let's go look at that. Oh my god, Spud. Uh, no rug, no bed frame yet. We do have a depressed dog, which is great. It's white. It is a white room now. Sorry, I like a white room. I mean, nothing's, nothing's going on, but the blue is gone. The walls are patched, the dog's in bed. It's going, it's Wednesday, March 3rd, the day before my birthday, very exciting. I'm kind of getting slightly depressed about it. It's my first pandemic birthday. Um, I was lucky enough to have a birthday celebration right before the pandemic hit last year, but I'll get over it. Just like anxiety about a real measure of time for me. Oh, am I gonna cry? <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel emotional about it. I don't know, just like a real measure of time has passed, a significant amount of time. My life has changed so much from what I thought it was gonna look like last year and in lots of good and bad ways. I feel content overall. It's definitely a good life I'm making for myself and some really cool things happened, but just a measure of time, you know, like, I don't know, I kind of view my birthday as like my New Year's, kind of. It's kind of how I feel about it. Um, yeah, a really busy work week. We just launched a new project that we've been working on for the last six months. It's called Sims Kits. Uh, the agency I work at does a lot of the campaign and artwork for The Sims releases and we've been working on this on the design system in the background for the last six months, develop developing it and kind of establishing what the look and feel is. I'm a project manager at a design agency, if you don't know that. Um, and it's been fun watching it go out into the world. It's like a real thing. A real thing, you know? So that's been fun. I also finished a book last night. I finished Stranger Care by Sarah Santillis. I've talked about it because, you know, I've talked about it before. She was my professor in college. I really respect her as a thinker and a writer and a person. And it was all about mothering, foster care, kinship care, mothering what isn't ours, and kind of a more philosophical, spiritual look at connectedness and a lot of great pulls from science writing and more nature writing about I guess like ecosystems interconnectedness and there was also some great commentary about I guess like the social construct of adoption and the layers of privilege wrapped into that etc so I really liked it I stayed up late reading it last night because I couldn't put it down and what better thing can you say about a book I couldn't put it down that's about it just chilling. Hope you're having a good day. Goodbye. Look at my beautiful flowers my mommy sent me. Oh my god. Can you even believe it? And like this really nice ceramic vase. So pretty. Look at this one. Phallic. <laughs> Hi. It's my birthday. It's my birthday on my birthday squirrel. Um, been an awesome day already. I'm working, <laughs> but I got my favorite vegan chocolates. I got some Gorge new candlestick holders from Kiki. Gorgeous chocolate. Um, my book friends, Grace, Jalen, Kieran, and Hannah delivered the best vegan donuts to me for my birthday. Uh, my work gave me an amazing present. They're paying for me to have 
sushi delivered. My dad sent me a book gift card. My mom got me flowers. Um, and my best friend made me this insane video of all of my friends singing Dancing Queen. So I'm emotionally exhausted at 10.44 a.m. <laughs> That's mostly how I'm feeling. Uh, wow. Very, very draining to be loved this much, you know? Yeah, so that's that's what we're doing for my birthday. There's Spud. You heard him. I will let you know any other fun things that happen as the day progresses, but it's mostly gonna be work. Oh, that's sweet! Oh, sweet Twilight! Oh, yeah! She can dance! She can cry! That was so loud. Say happy birthday, CJ! Happy birthday, CJ. Say, CJ is the best. CJ is the best. She's my shining star. <laughs> uh, it's almost the end of the day. It's five, I'm almost off work, and I just got a delivery from Barnes & Noble, and it's a package of books from the book hotties from Jalen, Kieran, Grace, and Hannah. Uh, they got me Hunger by Roxane Gay. I'm thinking this was um, Hannah's pick. Uh, I'm gonna try to like decide what is what, right? Is this Kieran's pick? A uh, separation, by the way. Jalen's pick. I'm gonna say the Copenhagen Trilogy, which I can't wait to read. This looks gorgeous. And Detransition Baby. Maybe this is Grace's pick. I think I think Grace maybe had read A Separation. I don't know, I'm unsure about the other two, but this is definitely Hannah, and this is definitely Jalen. Or maybe it was a collective group effort, and it was all about what I would like the most. That is so sweet. Ugh, I'm not worthy. What a great birthday! So fun celebrating people you love, right? And then I also got Brood by Jackie Polzin sent to me from the publisher, which sounds really interesting. I've heard this likened to Jenny Awful before, this writer. I think it's about like a woman and her chicken coop, which sounds kind of boring, but it's supposed to be, you know, more philosophical and illustrative than that, right? gorgeous set of new books thank you everyone i love you it's friday i'm recording this in case i'm right i think my best friend alex is coming to down today to surprise me i just have a feeling um she was talking to me yesterday and she was like oh i'm gonna be in town next week and because i have to visit my little sister and do some errands and check in on our rental house like can we get dinner on friday like at my house and i was like yeah and like the more I think about it, I think she's actually coming today because she also was like, oh, I'm gonna have something delivered to your house tomorrow morning. Um, it's it's food, so are you gonna be there? And I was like, yeah, I'll be there. And then I was like, I might go see my dad though. And she's like, oh, that's okay. Like, just wait until it gets there. I don't know, I might be totally wrong and just being a Scorpio right now, but I think she might be coming today. And I asked Kiki and I was like, is Alex coming today? And he's like, no, like he got all flustered. So I'm recording this in case I'm right. Alex might be coming. If she's not coming, that's fine. And I'll see her next week. But, um, what are we doing? I have today off, Kiki doesn't. And I'm going to get ready clean the house a little bit, and then I think I wanna go vintage shopping. <gasps> Can you imagine? I might go to a few vintage stores by myself and just kind of browse, which sounds fun. So we'll see where that gets us. Uh, looking for homewares, looking for home stuff. I'm reading We Play Ourselves by Jen Silverman right now on NetGalley. I got an arc of it and I'm liking it so far. It's just like easy to read millennial fiction, which is kind of the what is it called? Palette cleanser I needed after reading some more like, I don't know, not my comfort zone kind of books. So 
I'm liking it. It's still my birthday all weekend, don't worry. I'm still gonna be acting like a little spoiled brat. Hi, I was wrong about my best friend coming, but I did receive said package, okay, which is fine. Alex, if you're watching this, that would have been a good lie to tell me today. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I know what this is. Before I was like, oh, maybe she sent me Frankie and Joe's ice cream, which is this vegan ice cream in Seattle that I really like. But then I was like, no, it's probably a cookie. Yeah, it is. Yes. So there's this chocolate chip cookie place in New York called Seven Grams Cafe. And these are supposed to be the best chocolate chip cookies. Okay. We're gonna eat them later together. That's exciting. Thank you, Alex. It says, happy birthday, queen of the chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> it's true, it's my favorite dessert. I have a taste test. I hope these were good because one, the internet said they were really good. Two, Alex probably paid a lot of money to get them shipped from New York. Three, there's six of them. So would be preferred to eat a good chocolate chip cookie. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie to spare Alex's feelings. I mean, she's not in control if these were good or not. I'm gonna give you the real truth about the seven grams cafe <laughs> chocolate chip cookie. Okay. Pretty moundy in shape, right? Pretty moundy. It's oily inside so far, which is like one of my number one critiques about cho vegan chocolate chip cookies is like people fuck up and like just put a shit ton of coconut oil on them. My favorite kind of chocolate chip cookie is like crispy on the outside, chewy in the middle, thinner than this for sure, and like kind of underbaked in the middle, I would say. So this is similar, giving me similar underbaked vibes. I think these might be tahini chocolate chip. I feel like there's a nut butter thing going on. We're all really good. My favorite chocolate chip cookies that I've had since being vegan or eating vegan is ones from the New York Times called like the best vegan chocolate chip cookie. They are pretty good. That's what I usually make when I want like a classic chocolate chip cookie. And then I also make the Allison Roman chocolate chip shortbread cookies. I just replace the normal butter for Miyoko's butter. And then instead of egg wash, I do like roll it in coconut oil. That's my other favorite chocolate chip cookie. Um, would I pay to have these shipped from New York? No. Like they're not fucking me up that bad. Are they still really good and a nice present to receive in the mail? Yes. So if you're in New York, probably try one fresh. Tell me how it goes. In general though, I'm like never gonna want a mound cookie over a crispy chewy cookie. But these are good. It's complicated. We're gonna start packing for our weekend away. Kiki's at work, but whatever. And we need to decide what books we're gonna bring. Let me show you where I'm keeping my TBR pile. This is our spare room, dad's room, also my office with the haunted monkey. And most of these books I have not read. Uh, I found this is an easy system for me to try to keep, keep track of my TBR instead of just placing them randomly in my bookshelf. So I think I want to bring something the book hotties gave to me. What is the separation about again? A young woman has agreed with her faithless husband. It's time for them to separate. For the moment, it's a private matter, a secret between them two. As she begins her new life, she gets word that Christopher has gone missing in a remote region in the rugged south of Greece, and she goes looking for him. I actually remember hearing about this somewhere. I, I, I'm sure, ooh, God. I'm sure one of the hotties have read this, so that's probably where I heard it from. That sounds good. That sounds like, you know, a novel. That sounds like a novel. <laughs> but not like millennial fiction. So I feel like that's that's the vibe I wanna go for. So we're gonna bring this. And maybe we'll bring this new Joan Didion that I haven't read as well, cause it's a collection of essays, which I can pick up and put down. And then I'm also gonna bring my Kindle, which I have a few books on it that I'm reading. That should be enough for two days. Very exciting. Hello everyone. We're still in Portland, but we rented a hotel room for a couple nights for my birthday so we could get out of our house. 
We're going for a pretty maximalist, maximalist bird vibe. Birds, <laughs> birds. That's an incredible lamp. Yeah, dogs are here too. Then let me show you the bed, which is pretty cool. Pretty wacky, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he knows who he is. We're just gonna chill. We're in downtown Portland. Happy Saturday, everyone. We're in the hotel in downtown Portland, still with our dog. We're about to go walk to get coffee, probably at Stumptown. What? Drop the dog back at the hotel and then walk around, go to Powell's. We're in downtown Portland with some fake beavers. Wow, the thriving city, huh, Kiki? <laughs> uh, we're waiting for Bento to pick it up and we're in this like corridor of shops in Portland. What is this place called? Union Way? Union Way. Union Way. So cool. This is what we got. A little curry moment. This place used to serve ramen and I think they... Still do. No, they don't. There's no ramen on that menu. That's a different, it's like a spinoff of the same place though. Oh really? No. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> got a slice of pizza last week. Here is Pal's Books, everyone. Wow. The legendary Pal's Books. Wow. We're in Pal's. We're in Pal's. <laughs> Whoa. These are the only things I've come in for, that I know I've come in for. What a pleasing set. We're back from Pals, from walking around. It's three o'clock. I just ate a piece of pie. And I don't think I wanna leave the room for the rest of the day. Much to Kiki chagrin. Um, so we like tried to go shopping a bunch of places downtown and I didn't find anything except a pair of black Crocs, which is great. <laughs> you didn't really find them. Huh? You didn't really find them. Yeah, yeah, I had to, I had to buy them. Specifically to buy them. Well, I had to buy them because my blundstones were hurting me and I didn't bring any other shoes. Anyway, let's do so a Powell's hard. haul. Got the Outline Trilogy, Transit, Kudos, you see me? Kudos, and Outline by Rachel Cusk. This is a series of auto fiction, I think. None of them really say what they're about. All I know is that I loved Second Place by Rachel Cusk, so I want to read all of these. And I mean, nice covers. I love a blocky photographic treatment, as long as it's not of a person. Um, this is a good book cover, in my opinion. I also got The Answers by Katherine Lacey. I remember hearing about this book somewhere, but I can't remember where great endorsement of it, but I found a used copy for 10 bucks, so I decided to get it. And then lastly, I got a copy of Oval, which has been on my TBR for a while. It's put out by Soft School, which is one of my favorite publishers. And this is like a near future dystopian novel set in Berlin. And it sounds interesting. An artificial mountain, real estate's being flipped in order to make things more sustainable there's a pill called the oval which rewires your brain i'm into it sounds cool did i need any of these no i did it i have more than enough books to read at home but i mean what what is life what is a birthday weekend if not an excuse to go to pals am i right lads am i right so I'm in the hotel. I'm going to keep reading We Play Ourselves. I made some significant progress on that last night. Um, there's basically a plot line in this book where the narrator, Cass, is explaining that she did something really terrible in New York and that's why she had to flood. And it turns out, like, you finally get, like, in bleh. when you're about halfway through the book, you find out what that thing is. And... It's bad, but I thought it was going to be way worse, so I was kind of disappointed by that. But, I don't know, I think Cass is being 
set up to fail with her new friendship with a filmmaker. So we're gonna see where that goes. Yep. Oh, that was sweet, bud. I think we're gonna have pizza for dinner. It's not been a good food weekend, if I'm being honest. I had a couple of meals back to back that were gross. But if anything can cure us, it'll be pizza. Kiki brought pizza. Pizza delivery boy. He brought the pizza. The zoom is so slow on this. Um, I've been in bed for hours. <laughs> yeah, what time is it? What time is been it? in bed for like four hours. Yeah, I've been in bed for four hours, which is like <laughs> my ideal lifestyle, honestly. I love to rest. I don't know what to tell you. I love to rest. I love to be in bed. I took a nap, and because we had nothing to do, it didn't even make me angry. Another nap. I just like truly rested. Um, and now we're gonna eat pizza and like maybe watch a movie? <laughs> what? Sure. Your bra's like on the lamp. Oh yeah, I hung it just... there. I hung it there on purpose. Um, do you think we're gonna watch a movie tonight? Not for 20 bucks. I know, I kinda <laughs> wanna watch one though for 20 bucks. That's insane. That's insane? Yeah. Okay, what about on the iPad? Less insane. It's kind of insane, because it's so small. We might, I feel like watching a movie, but I don't want to watch it on the iPad, but I don't want to pay for it. So, <laughs> that's where I'm at. We need some pizza. Mom, can you order me a Domino's pizza with a chocolate lava cake? Pizza. If you've seen that TikTok, leave a shark comment, a shark emoji in the comments. Uh, it plays in my head a lot. Okay, bye. The wedding singer came on, so we're watching that. And Adam Sandler's hot in this movie. Are we ready to have that conversation yet? Are we? Sorry. Oh, I wish my last name was Pickles. Oh, right. We're heading home after a day full of relaxing. How was your relaxing trip, Kiki? Very relaxing. <laughs> Okay, I'm signing off the vlog. It's Sunday, we're gonna chill. Sesame cracker. Sesame crackers. Um, goodbye, I hope this was fun. I had a good birthday. Thanks, Kiki, for all the birthday love. Of course. Of course. Bye, everyone.